Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Player Moments Thomas Muller card to review today. They finally released this card, which is pretty dope because obviously we all wanted him at the time. And uh, yeah, it's cool that he's in the game now. So with Thomas Muller, ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a look at someone that is six foot one. High medium work rates, right footed, four star skill moves with a four star weak foot. Uh, in regards to his in-game Player traits, he has the solid player trait, the leadership trait, as well as the outside foot shot trait, so no finesse shot trait, but, you know, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, he's got 85 acceleration with 85 sprint speed, so we are going to be giving him the engine chemistry style to boost it up to a 90-90 while working with his high-medium work rates. Shooting, he's got 99 attacking positioning, which rightfully, rightfully so, he's amazing at positioning himself in real life. Uh, 90 finishing, but does have the 83 shot power, so it could be something that we could improve on the card with a different chemistry style. To be honest with you guys, with a card like this, if I mostly see him being used in the cam position anyways, I would probably just give him a finisher chemistry style because the 85-85 in the cam position cam position is perfectly fine in my opinion, right? But we're obviously going to be testing him out with the engine, maybe the finisher afterwards. We'll see what the vibes are because we just have to test out and see what chemistry style fits best for him, right? Uh, but 83 shot power could be a little bit of a letdown from time to time, but he does have 89 volleys at 95 composure. So 95 composure would also be nice to boost the dribbling as much as possible in those key areas, right? Uh, passing on the card is good for base card stats. We're going to be improving it with the engine chemistry style as well. Uh, for dribbling, because he is a six foot one player, that's where I feel like the balance boost is definitely going to feel uh, really needed. I really feel, wish they just gave him the shot power. You know what I'm saying? Like if they gave him like a, I'd say like an 88, you know, an 88 and then I could give him an engine. Like it'd be, it'd be done rightfully so, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, with the dribbling, I do want to boost the balance as much as possible to work with the dribbling being boosted as well with the 92 ball control and 97 reactions. Uh, and then for physical stats, this card has an 83 for strength and then 89 for stamina. Now, like I said, I do see this card mostly being used in the cam position uh, for me personally with a finisher chemistry style because if you give him a finisher, guys, you'll be boosting the finishing shot power as well as the dribbling stats, uh, but it's a shot power boost where, you know, you get into certain situations where it's really nice to have but the reason why most people give them an engine is because they aim for a better general experience they aim to have better pace all that kind of stuff right so uh the way that we are going to be lined up in game is obviously going to be our typical uh three five two tactics so i'm just going to go ahead and switch to that here this nerf house guy uh new house new house i don't know if i'm pronouncing his name right he's actually really solid uh, and just never got around to doing his review, but he's pretty cool. Uh, we're going to have Serge Gnabry and Thomas Miller up top. Uh, Kingsley Coleman. Mm, we'll put Bellarabi there instead. Yeah, we'll do it like this. Cool. Tactics will be on press after possession. Loss, three, seven, balanced, four, and four. And then the instructions, we will... I'll, only, I'll just put this, right? I'll just do it for the CDMs. And then these guys are on comeback, getting behind. Come back, get in behind, and then these guys will be on stay forward. Stay forward. All right, cool. Let's get into a game, see how he plays. It's a defensive attack. Uh, no, ultra defensive. Yes. Okay, cool. All right, so we'll switch to this. And I'll go ahead and give it to Muller here. Oh, look at his dribbling. He actually does the thing. Yo, look at that. Okay. You, you do feel the, the push a little bit. You feel the push a little bit, but he has that close control dribbling, which is going to be awesome. By the way, guys, when I test the dribbling, it's just left stick, right? I just want to see what it works or how it works with his uh, body type and whatnot, right? So. Oh, you have to get closer for the high percentage strike right there, but at least he makes that angled run right there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you guys. I think he's going to be a really sick cam. I think that's where he's going to be best utilized for sure. Weak foot. Oof. You see that right there? You see that? That's where you want the shot power, bro. Trust me, guys. I'm telling you, man. The shot power is is a very, in, in my opinion, just to make the card usable in every single situation, it's always very important to have. And like I said, if you're using him in the cam position, guys, it's not a bad thing to not have crazy pace, you know? Especially since he's got 99 attacking positioning, like I don't really think that's going to be much of a problem, right? His dribbling actually comes off really nicely. It's not bad at all, guys. Oh, 
Nice. Finesse shot angle. Oh. I did the shot cancel right there just to open up the space for myself. Oh, man. He got that small little touch right there. That would have been beautiful. Oh, look at that run. Let's go. He doesn't have generic attacking AI. That's awesome. Yeah, adjust his runs. That's good. That's really good. Nice. Oh. Body faint. Oh. I tried to do an angled one right there. It didn't really work out, but he does well to kind of like put the pressure off of him. I'm going to tell you guys this right now, though. I I'm pretty sure I'd give him like a finisher in the cam position for sure. Oh, he left randomly. Okay. I mean, that's perfect because that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to give it to him. Okay. What do we got here? Do, 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 do. Lonen and Toribo. Oh my God, dude. I totally forgot about that tall link. <laughs> He gets a tall link and oh, I forgot about that, dude. I forgot that it's my ultra defensive tactics that has the uh, players in a certain position. So I just gotta make that make sure I put that that switch there. <laughs> Woo! Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna tell you guys something right now, just from it initially dribbling with him. Okay. I think I prefer the engine chemistry style on him, dribbling wise. Uh, reason being for this is because, like I was saying before, it's really nice to give these players a balance boost when they're tall players because it actually feels like they respond better when you give them that boost, right? So, yes, you're giving him the plus five for balance and the plus 10 for agility, but I feel like he requires the balance boost more uh, just from the initial dribbling that he was doing there. But, uh, like I said, guys, the finisher chemistry style, you're doing it for shot power. The engine, you're doing it for general gameplay experience, right? So it really just, it's really up to you on how you want to use this card. That's why I was saying, like, it would be really nice if they uh, just gave him the uh, shot power by default, you know? Look at that run, though. Look at that. First time strike. Oh, we missed that with this four-star weak foot. Oh, I just wanted to try a first time strike there, because obviously, probably not the most ideal strike. Nice. Let's go, baby. Nice little near post finish. I think a thing you're going to work with a lot, honestly, is probably going to be his high medium work rates with uh, with 99 attacking positioning, dude. Let's go. Work that angle right there for the near post. His positioning is really good, guys. It, it is. Like, I noticed that he comes back into the on onside position really quickly, which is, again, very, very important for these types of attackers. I, I like using this card right now, honestly, because he feels really authentic. Like, a real-life Th Thomas Muller, which is pretty cool. Um, he's definitely not going to be a meta-oriented card by any means. Although, if you give him an engine chemistry style and you play him in that center mid position, he could be really fun. I think he could be fun in most of the attacking positions. It's just, you know... Uh, there's always going to be this thing with the chemistry styles where if you give him one thing or the other... Oh, I thought I scored that. If you give him one thing or the other, you're always going to feel that you're lacking in that key area. Whether it's shot power or a little bit of a better dribbling boost. But it's a fun card so far, man. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Shot across? Oh, <laughs> you should probably do a finesse shot there, to be fair. But I just wanted to try the power strike. Oh, Tony Bo with the block. That card's so good, man. Look at that movement, bro. Oh, good dribbles. Nice. Oh, I shouldn't have taken the touch there, actually. See how he has that, like, initial push touch? Nice. Oh, I should have shot, but I just wanted to get the goal with him. <laughs> He does get into those positions really quickly once he makes that pass, though. Like I keep telling you guys, when it comes to passing in this game, try not to do one-two plays that much because the players attacking AI will push them into those areas anyways, right? So, oh, I just wanted to test how responsive he'd be with the finisher chemistry style there. It's not bad. You can definitely work with it for sure, guys. It's not like a terrible thing by any means. 
I really feel like with a card like this for this game's meta, like I said, guys, engine chemistry style in the center mid position would be really cool with him for sure. As you're like more attacking oriented player. Ooh. Ah, man. Yeah, I wanted to try that finesse shot from there. To be honest with you guys, do I really care about the shot power that much? Not really. Not really. I think I'd give him an engine. I don't know. Give him a little bit of extra pace, you know, because his attacking AI is decent too. Oh, man. They do that, like, finesse shot from, like, power strikes nowadays. It's so weird. Angled. Nice. Finesse shot. There we go, baby. There we go. Someone was offside there? No way. The initial pass was offside? I had no idea. That was, good. That was sick, though. That's what I'm saying, though. You see how you don't do the one-two play? Just pass the ball. If they're smart enough or they have good attacking AI, they will go into that position by default, guys. Guys, for how he performs in game, I, I would give him an engine. I, I don't really care about shot power. Shot power would be like, oh, if I really want to get everything, but it, it's just I, I feel like I want that dribbling boost and make him as responsive as possible, you know? Yeah, he has that like push touch more when he doesn't have the engine as well. This guy just stopped playing, but uh, we'll take that opportunity and uh, I think he's going to leave, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. Alright guys, so final verdict on this Thomas Muller player moments card. So in my opinion, guys, the engine chemistry style definitely makes the most sense for how he performs in game because this card definitely belongs in the cam position. I feel like he requires the balance boost because of the fact that he is a six foot one player with a high and average plus body type. So I do think that that balance boost is way more important than the agility boost for this card because if you take a look at his general stats, you know, you're going to be boosting his pace by a plus five in both areas, right? Giving him 90-90. He has decent attack. Attacking AI to utilize empty position really well with his 99 attacking positioning, which is actually pretty noticeable in game to be fair. Uh, the only downfall of the card, honestly, is the shot power being an 83, right? But it's not even that big of a deal because I wouldn't really want to take these certain shots that I'm taking with him anyways because most of my buildup really comes from breaking down defense and working that space inside the 18-yard box. And I kind of go for like high percentage strikes anyways, right? But obviously for the player of these, we try like ridiculous shot angles just to see what he's like. But with a card like this, guys, like I said, I feel like you'll have the most fun with him in the cam position. He's not necessarily going to be like a full meta card by any means. Um mostly because of the shot power and because of his body type to dribbling stats, but I had a ton of fun using him, right? So if you guys end up doing the SBC, you're going to definitely be doing it uh, for that very, very authentic feel of the card in FIFA and trying to make him feel as realistic as possible because honestly, with the engine, he definitely does feel like a Muller in, in the actual game. So um, if you guys are going to do it for that reason, he's awesome. If you're doing it for full meta, you can have fun with him in the center mid position. I think he'd be a great uh, attacking oriented center mid because he also has some physical capabilities, which is always nice to have in that three midfield setup. Um, or again, like I said, if you're using him in the cam position with the engine chemistry style, make sure that you go for high percentage strikes because of the uh, 83 shot power. Like we go for these crazy finesse shots and all that kind of stuff. But guys, if you if you take high percentage strikes inside the 18 with a 90 finishing, he'll be able to score those opportunities. So uh, it's a fun card, authentic feel, great to have in the, in the team if you want to uh, go for that realistic feel for sure. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out my dudes. Love you guys. Today might be a busy day as well because I didn't review most of the cards. So yeah.